when we're given the equation of a line, like this one here, y equals 3x plus 4, we use it uh, as a rule to help us find coordinates. And when we find those coordinates, we're going to plot them and join them all up. So sometimes we're given values of x, like here, we're given values of 0 up to 5. And sometimes we have to make them up ourselves. But in this case, they've already put in, when x is 0, we put 0 into our equation. So 3 times 0 is 0, plus 4 is 4. When x is 2, 3 twos are 6, plus 4 is 10, so y is 10. When x is 4, we get 3 fours are 12, plus 4 is 16. And finally, when x is 5, 3 fives are 15, plus 4 is 19. Now we have some missing values here. So we have to fill those in. And when x is 1, I'm going to put that y equals 7. And just for the moment, when x is 3, I'm going to put y equals 5. Let's see what happens. The smallest amount of points that we need to draw a straight line is 2. But here, uh, we're given 6. 6 points worth. So we're going to plot those points and then join them up and see what happens. So let's plot these points. The first one we have is 0, 4. So it's none up the, across the x-axis and 4 up the y-axis. Then we have 1, 7. We have 2, 10. We have 3, 5. We have 4, 16. And we have 5, 19. Which is up here. And you'll see uh, immediately that one of those points doesn't look right. This one's not in a straight line with the others. So what I can do is I can just rub that one out say okay that one must have been a mistake and when I look back at this one up at the top I can see that my mistake was putting a 5 in there it wasn't 5 because when 3 times 3 is 9 that should have been the point 13 3 13 and so now I'm going to put that in when it should, where it should have been in the first place so 3 13 is just And so the next thing I do is then I join up my line, I join up all those points with a line. So there's my line drawn. And one last thing I want to do is just to put the equation of the line. Y equals 3x plus 4. Just write it at the top or bottom of the line. And in this next one we're asked to draw the graph of y equals 2x plus 1. And you'll notice it says from 0 to 5, but it doesn't give us any specific values. So we can pick our own values of x. And so what we do is we just make a little table, x and y. And I'm going to pick three values of x. So for those three values, I'm going to pick, first of all, my first value, 0. And 5 I want to pick, because x values go from 0 to 5, and 1 in between. So let's maybe pick uh, 2. So having done that, let's look at our formula. y equals 2x plus 1. And when x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. And so when x is 0, y is 1. That's the point 0, 1. When x is 0, y is 1. Now, when x is 2, I put it into the equation, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So when x is 2, y is 5. And that's the point then, 2, 5. When x is 2, y is 5. And finally, the third point here, when x is 5, 2x is 10, plus 1 is 11. So when x is 5, y is 11. And that's going to be the point 5, 11. X is 5, Y is 11. So next, I'm just going to plot those three points. 
zero one is here. Two five is here, and five eleven is right up at the top here. Oops, just like so. And you'll see whenever we go to to draw the line in this, that all three points are directly in line, and so I know that I've done it right. Unlike the last one where there was uh, one out of place, one rogue result, these are all good. And so the last thing I want to do is just write the equation of my line. Y equals 2x plus 1. Now here's one for you to try. It's a wee bit trickier. Uh, as 2x plus y equals 10, we'll actually have a negative gradient. The line will go down from left to right. But just pause the video, have a go at it, and then restart the video and see if you've got it right or not.